The first class I went to was United States history under Dr. Uh, Clark. PhD from University of Southern Mississippi. I had nothing against him, good guy. But it was the first time I seen him. I hadn't seen him yet, but I went up to the classroom. When I got to the classroom, there was 39, 38 people in the classroom. And they were all standing up, all the way around the wall. So I just went and took a seat. And then another fellow came in, and he came over to me, and he said, my name it's Jess Gardner. He says, I'm from Hodgesville, Kentucky. He said, I've been in the Army. I'm a former officer. He said, I had a platoon uh, that I was in charge of. And he says, I was, I was in a tank battalion. And he said, a shell hit my tank. And he said, if it hadn't been for black soldiers in my outfit, they broke open the tank top, got in there and got me out. Says, I wouldn't be here. I said, that's fine. Says, I'm glad somebody did something for you. But we got talking. And two, about four or five minutes, the bell rung. And then come Dr. Clark. I felt sorry for him when I saw his face. He come in that room and he saw all of those kids standing around the wall and me and Jess sitting there. He turned just, I never seen, I, I, the only thing I could say was his face turned like, just red like a tomato. And he stood there a couple of seconds, he was just shocked and he turned around and went back out. And was he shocked that you were there? Or was no. he shocked that the students were responding he, that way? He was shocked <clears throat> at the students' response. And he waited till the second bell rang. And he come back in, and here's what he said. I got 39 students. I got 40 chairs. Either take a seat or get the hell out. So they very slowly took a seat. And then he told me, he says, Mr. Logan, if you don't mind, would you go to the student union building right next door? He said, you haven't done anything wrong. I said, I just want to talk to these kids. See you in the morning. Thanks for doing that for me. So I left to get insulted again. I went over to the student union to get a cup of coffee and sit down. I got a cup of coffee, all right. But every time you go to sit down, if you sit down, everybody else get up and leave. So I, I said, oh, this is where it's going to be. So I just drank my coffee and crossed my leg and enjoyed myself. I said, two can play this game. The next morning, I went back to that class. And this time, I guess I was the most shocked person in the world. Everybody must have came, got, they had to call each other up at night because kids win all 30 
seven of the seats. They had one seat left, and they put a sign on that chair for color only, and put a rope around it. So when I opened the door and I saw that, I just politely walked to the side of the wall and stood up. And a few minutes, the bell rang. Dr. Clark come in, oh man, he saw that. He grabbed that chair, ran to the window and threw it out the window. I said, you're gonna kill somebody. <laughs> and he looked down and he said, no, I'm looking at it. It hit the sidewalk, because if you know where the uh, Dr. Clark's office were, it's right beside the the sidewalk that goes to, to the student union. And he, we on the second floor. And he says, I hate to send you back over at Logan, but go back to the, <laughs> go back to the student union building, because we're going to have it this morning. And uh, so I went back to the student union building. But I say this, I don't know what the man said. But I had no more problems in that class. I said to myself that day, if I ever get a chance to stay in this class, y'all gonna be sorry, because I'm gonna flunk all of you. Mm -hmm. You gonna throw off the curve, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna really do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, but uh, we had no more problems. They, they had some problems keeping the grades up, mm -hmm. but, uh, what grade did you get in the class? Hmm? What grade did you get in the class? I got an A out of the class. And Jess got an A. Most of them, they were getting D's and C minuses.